Well, yeah, obviously Martin's worked with him in the past and um, Adam's played at uh, a higher level than this. Obviously he's played in the league and he's played at conference a lot of games and, um, and obviously Martin ended up taking him to um, to Downton with him. So, you know, he's, uh, we've been looking around for the goalkeeper. Um, we've had uh, Bailey, on, uh, Bailey on loan for, for a month, um, but I think deep down Martin always wanted Adam. Um, obviously he's worked with him before and he's got great respect and he, and he trusts him. And, and it's a massively important position at any football club as a goalkeeper. So, um, thanks to the chairman. Obviously, he's, um, he's helped out with the scenario. You know, Adam doesn't come free. We've had to pay a transfer fee for him. So, the chairman again has once uh, once again backed the manager, and uh, as I was to bring him Adam in. So, um, obviously, we'd like to bring him in. And was this a transfer that needed a little bit of persistence? Um, well, you know, it's obviously, people put two and two together, and they see. Um, Old players from from other clubs. Obviously, that's David Ferguson and um, and Adam we signed at the moment. Um, no, I think initially um, it wasn't going to go anywhere, but um, the longer it's gone on and si certain situations have changed in Adam's um, personal life, shall we say? So he wanted to get back to full time football, and uh, and this suits him great. You must feel that you've got good competition for that goalkeeper's shirt now. Yeah, very much so. Obviously. Um, I had to sit down with Martin and find out which way he wants to go with that but um, I think Martin wanted somebody in there that he, he could trust um, and obviously he's, he's had, him, had him for a number of games a number of years now so and he implicitly trusts him so um, from our point of view it's a great signing OK, so uh, Adam Bartlett, welcome to uh, York City you've just signed uh, an 18 month contract uh, tell us how it's come about Well obviously Martin coming to the club um, a few weeks back now Martin took me to Darlington, had a good relationship with him and yeah, the opportunity came to, to work with Martin again and I jumped at the chance. I know what he's he's all about. He's obviously been very successful with what he's done at Darlington over the past five or six years at the club. And um, you know, I think he's going to bring success here at York City and the fact that he wanted to bring me here and wanted me to be a part of it was um yeah, it was great. Was it a difficult decision for you to leave Darlington because there's been talk uh, of a possible interest for, for a couple of weeks now? It was, yeah. Um, I had a great time at Darlington, signed there in, in March and again obviously Martin was manager and um, Aki and Griggs were there as well and you know the lads in the dressing room, it was a really close in the dressing room and um, last season getting to the playoffs and then missing out due to the um, the problems with the stands was a, a big disappointment for everybody and um, coming into this season we didn't quite hit the ground running as we wanted to and um, and yeah the, the, the fans etc every, everybody at the club had been great with me like I said the, the change room was fantastic there and that's that's been one of the hardest hardest things but I'm sure I'll fit in here um, as soon as possible and I'm looking forward to the challenge ahead I mean you know everybody knows the, the, the size and stature of a club of the club and um, yeah I'm just really looking forward to, to getting started um, come the weekend and hopefully with a little bit of luck and some good performances along the way, we'll be where we want to be come the end of the season. And tell us about your your own season so far. How's it gone for you personally? Uh, personally, I've been pleased. Personally, I've been pleased. Um, yeah, it can always be better though. But on a personal note, I've been <coughs> relatively consistent. I'd like to think, and hopefully, I can bring that here with me at York as well. And tell us uh, a little bit about your your background. You obviously started at Newcastle as a youngster, didn't you? I did, yeah. I was at Newcastle, signed there at the age of nine, worked me right the way through um, the academy system there, and unfortunately I was released at 19. Um, got the chance to play 30-odd times in the reserve team when I was at the club and travelled a few times with the senior squad as well, which was a great experience. And um, Rebuilt from there, spent the next few seasons at, at Blythe Spartans in the Conference North, and after that, I got a move to Kidderminster Harriers in the Conference National, um, three years at Hereford United in the Football League. After that, back down to Gateshead for three years and then spent two seasons at Hartlepool before signing at Darlington last year. Martin Gray obviously signed you at Darlington. How big a factor was he in bringing you to York City? Massive, yeah. Um, you know, I've got nothing, nothing but respect for Martin. Um, you know, what he's done for Darlington Football Club, um, I don't think they'll ever forget it. Um, you know, he's took them successive promotions and, you know, he's took that club right the way from the beginning to, to where it is now and, um, you know, nothing nothing but praise for uh, for Martin from that and, yeah, I'm just looking forward to working with him again. Um, you know, he's, he says it as it is, Martin, you know, there's, you know, there's no grey areas with him, it's black or white and, um, yeah, if you give him everything then, you know, he appreciates and respects that and that's what I intend to do for him. 
and you must be looking forward to the competition now for that uh, goalkeeper's jersey. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, you know, I think there's there's three, four goalkeepers on the books at the club now. Um, you know, the, the the three boys have um, had game time this season, and yeah, I'm looking forward to coming in, competing against them, and you know, hopefully win that number one jersey as my own. 